Just kidding. What is happening, Magna Sykes? So I hear that there is this drama, this controversy that is going around all over internet town. And uh, it has to do with an article that was written on IGN. And from what I understand, they're saying that if they make this remake of Resident Evil 5, that you can't just remake it, it has to be rewritten. That's what I'm hearing. Because you have black zombies being killed by a white man. Now, let's pump the brakes a little bit. Speaking to you as a super straight black male gamer, when I saw that it was set in Africa, I thought it was interesting. And I saw that it has black zombies. I was like, even more interesting. Okay. I mean, we talk about inclusivity. I mean, if you got white zombies, ain't it okay to have black zombies? I think it's okay to have black zombies. And I think that, you know, Chris Redfield wasn't in it by himself, correct? Sheva was in it. Sheva was a black woman. So if it's not okay for a white man to shoot black zombies, then it definitely should be okay for a black woman to shoot black zombies, correct? I didn't think it was racist at all. I didn't think there were any issues with it when I saw it personally. So, but what I want to do is give this person a fair shot <gasps> Woo! at expressing themselves. I'm going to see what they had to say about it being um, so-called, I guess, racist is what people are saying. Don't go over there and harass them or anything like that. You know, I heard they've been getting a lot of heat. I'm not about harassing people. So let's check this out. With Resident Evil 4's release last year, Capcom's project to remake the glory years of its survival horror series is complete. But, as the game's post credit scene suggests, the remakes aren't over. And so the big question is, who's next? Now it says, where next? The obvious answer is a remake of Resident Evil 5, but... On the game's 15th anniversary, it's clear that moving forward chronologically will take Capcom's remake into the series' weakest era, an era of gameplay and narrative decisions best left in the past. Resident Evil 5 simply can't be remade, at least not to the standards of Capcom's best work. And so the answer is not to remake, but to rewrite. Resident Evil is a survival horror series, not that you'd know that, um, playing Resident Evil 5. Um, sure, it features a constant flow of horrific imagery, but Resident Evil 5 is an action game through and through. That's evident in its cover shooter mechanics. Uh, vehicle chases and on-rails turret sequences and the constant rattle of assault rifles, even its visual design invokes the sandy shades of modern military games that have experienced mass popularity in the late 2000s. It all speaks to a series that had lost its way rather than reflect on the tenets uh, that were the foundation of its existence. Resident Evil 5 looked to the contemporary gaming zeitgeist in an attempt to find a new lease of life. The result is an unholy hybrid of Resident Evil, Gears of War, and Call of Duty. It's as ugly and unwielding as it sounds. I liked Resident Evil 5 a lot, just so you know. This design appears to be not just a misguided attempt to follow Western success, but also a misreading of its predecessor. With Resident Evil 4, director Shinji Mikami definitely uh, reinvented the series uh, through the use of new over-the-shoulder camera angle. The per Okay, so we're talking about these games, but I, I need to find uh -huh, tension, fear, okay. Mm -hmm. Enemies, okay. Resident Evil 5, meanwhile, presents its enemies as waves 
to be gunned down with increasingly powerful memory, the perfect cannon fodder. Uh, okay. All this to say that a faithful remake of Resident Evil 5 would break Capcom's seven year streak of brilliant uh -huh. clever inventions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, it's kind of Where the hell is it? Remakes can, of course, completely. Okay, set in a fictional West African country, Resident Evil 5's primary antagonists are black people. Yes, technically, it's the Yorobos, uh, Yoroboros virus uh, that protagonists. Uh, Chris Redfield is fighting, but the Parasite's host is depicted as a nation of mobs of primitives who are violent, who are violent even before their infection. <laughs> Intentionally or not, Resident Evil 5 positions Africa as the dark continent, an uncivilized world harboring a diseased population that needs gunning down via Western intervention in the name of global security. I'm going to have to play that again to find out what they're talking about, you know. Um, I, yeah, I, <laughs> this insensitive treatment of people of color was hotly debated, even as early as Resident Evil 5's debut trailer, uh, with writers such as Ngai Kroll, and so, okay, pointing out that the game's uncomfortable post-colonial imagery, the arguments and think pieces continued well into the game's release window with IGN's own former editor-in-chief uh, having to wrestle with the subject. But that was 2009, a time when race was apparently a debate rather than a reality. In the 2020s, in the post-Black Lives Matter world, there is only one acceptable response to a white man shooting waves of Africans for an entire video game. No. Well... Like I said, Sheva's in it. So, you know, um, but I, I just don't understand why you can't go to different countries. And, and look, the, the whole thing is like, other than the, they were violent before the virus got to them. It sounds like anything else. I would have to see this portrayal because I don't remember thinking to myself, oh, they, they trying to make us look like, I, I don't remember that. So I have to see it again to, to, to really make a, a, an assessment. But um, I just, even with a vastly improved, more sensitive take on the content, perhaps one with black protagonists and more empathetic look at the outbreak of the experience would simply be too divorced from the original to hold the name of Resident Evil 5. Um, I, I just, it wasn't, it wasn't my experience, you know? And the fact of the matter is, there are certain parts of the world that you can go to with different colors and the people can be hostile towards you. So I don't, you know, there are certain parts of America or I can't go still because those people would be hostile toward me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at look up sundown towns. Apparently, I've heard that they still exist. So, okay, so if a virus got to them, they were already hostile, right? <laughs> so, you know, yeah. So I, I just, and, and they'd be white people. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, I, I just... Nah, uh, to me, I, I don't see this being um, um, a problem. So, remake it Capcom. If you see me, you see this video, look, it's okay. Remake it. I thought it was cool that we had black zombies. Um, I liked, you know, I, I liked uh, Resident Evil 5. So, you know, um, I think it's an op equal opportunity type of franchise. You can shoot white zombies and you can shoot black zombies. Just depends on where you're at. Certain people turn into zombies, right? You know, he was eating a black zombie in Resident Evil, what? Was it two and three? I mean, the security guard dude or whatever? I don't know. But look, it's just, I don't think this is, uh, people are fighting over nothing here. Tim
5 million subscribers. Woo!